Let me hear how you feel inside. You African, I know you're scared inside. You African, but I know your future's bright. You African, but let us choose the same. No matter what I say or do, the mob is thinking that you're holy. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Africa with Miss Spider. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited today because I'm starting a new series called Reviewing. I haven't come up with a name yet. I will come up with a name. Maybe you can help me come up with a name. But I'm going to be going around United Arab Emirates where I, 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 I stay right now. I'm going to be going around to UAE finding out, finding African restaurants that I can sample and tell you about them. So that when you visit Dubai, when you visit Abu Dhabi, when you visit Alain, uh, um, Ujera, you know just the right restaurants to go to when you have want like a bit of home. There's so many African restaurants here and I'm so excited. Today my first restaurant is called Hyper Ramen. It's a South African restaurant, South African diner and I'm so excited. I'm going with my friends and I'm going to be showing you the menu, how much you need to come with if you want to go there, like how to get there if you're using public transport or if you're using like a taxi or you're using your own car excited so come along with me as we showcase Hyperima Diner and see you and the Hakkal Kodima here Al Safa the next station is Al Safa So this is our Safa metro station and it's on the red line so don't forget to tap out your card and when you get to our Safa metro station you have to go to um, exit 1 and when you see this day to day you are on the right course so you walk past Porsche and as you walk it's about 4-5 minutes and the next left turn after Porsche is Hyperama and it's right there as I'm zooming in you'll see Hyperama and I'm gonna get closer there's Hyperama the shop and Hyperama diner so I got into the shop first because I was waiting for my friends and they, there you have it so many different foods from South Africa they even feature food from Zimbabwe as well you'll see it in a little bit I love coming to Hyperama though most of the times I leave them broke oh Mazoe you see they sell Mazoe and we always go there to buy mazoe sometimes they even sell serevita but because i stayed in south africa i see a lot of um food that i used to eat when i was in south africa so i absolutely love coming here mazoe mazoe orange yes she gets mazoe orange <laughs> there's some oris oros as you can see as well lots of flavors lots of spices that you're familiar with ultra meal like brings back so many memories so oh custard custard so many memories um, from when I was in Zim and South Africa and there's some Fanta grape. We were so lucky to find this in the shop um, and obviously we got like loads. So we're at Hyperama Diner and I'm so excited we're about to get in and we'll show you. It's here at Southern Metro Station like I showed you and the amazing food as you can see it's right behind me. It's beautiful and I'm going to be showing you the food that's around here so come along with me let's go. Right, so I absolutely love their decor. I love what they've done. This is their menu. I'll be showing you the prices that are there. I'm just gonna look, show you around a little bit. They've got this beautiful African um, decor that's on the wall with different um, lingos from South Africa, like Biltong, Springbok, Baki, Madiba, Mopani, Worms, Kombi, Yas, Chakalak, 
Africa, lots of like Africans and everything. And choppies, who remembers choppies and all the little did you know quizzes that we used to do. This is such a nice like um, thing. There. They also have this like kids zone where your kids can play because you know how kids can be. They can get bored really easily so they can go and play there and you can even see them. We love Mzanzi. What, what, what? And um, they, they have the two towers from Soweto, the bungee jumping towers. I've never done it. I don't know if I will ever do it. But hey, I got a chance to post like, I mean, um, Soweto. Durban, Cape Town, Johannesburg, the big five. So much representation of South Africa, which makes me so happy. And so as we wait for our food, I'm just posing here with my friends. And here is the menu. I'm going to take you through it. They have like sandwiches. Look at the prices. Not so bad. Breakfast, a kid's menu, burgers. And they also have like rolls. And they have parcels. Yes, this is what I came for. Parcels. They have pizza, bunny chow, steaks, and beautiful sides. They also have chisanyama and some extras for the chisanyama and chicken they also have seafood on the menu they have the bakery and savories and they have beautiful desserts and lots of shakes floats and drinks i'll show you the food that we ordered um we had some um, slap chips some chisanyama this is chisanyama and pop this is um chips and beef ribs and this is the uh, strawberry floaty beautiful design absolutely lovely and look at my face as my food came i was so excited and i've spread love with her slap chips she was so excited about this and we're all happy happily fed here excited because the food was amazing absolutely love the food here you need to come and visit the prizes are absolutely good ladies and gentlemen look at this plate this whole plate of ribs and chips and onion rings for 89 dirham you have to come to hyperama i I'm blown away by the portion size. I'm blown away by the taste. It's amazing. If you love snap chips, if you're tired of fries, like McDonald's fries, sorry McDonald's, you need to come and get yourself a snap chip because, oh my God, mm, this is it. Thank you. This type of fries. Okay guys, so we are done with the food now. I'm going to ask everyone how they felt about the portion and how they feel now. So I'm going to start with Ivy Spread Love. How was your food? Mine was great. The portion was so big. You know when you go to other restaurants, it's like, I don't need to carry the takeaway it is. I'm like, it's okay, you can take it. But this one I need to carry it because it's nice and it's so big. So yeah. You will you have we will come back and recommend to other people for sure for, for sure. sure I'll come back okay so the next person is going to be maybe Christmas we are here the next person is going to be Victor hi Victor yes I do thank you this uh, is uh, uh, ten plus ten plus yes <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed it's been a while really uh, I don't know four five years without three years without eating this kind of fries. I just uh, recommend the price and uh, the portion is just the way to go. I couldn't finish it, uh -huh. I'm still taking it home and uh, I will attack it later. Yes. This is nice. Yes. <laughs> and got it? Hey. How so the food is amazing, guys. Like I think I bought this for like 65 dirhams and still I ate more than half and I still have this. It's nice, it's, the portions are big. I recommend this. Definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. And, and Mr. Me, B? I think I'm the only one who finished this portion. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. I, I, I what did you What did you order? Mm, T-bone. T-bone and Santa. Ah. Je ko gosh ko shay. Je ko gosh. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Some people are stretching, so we're definitely going to come back. Before we go, let me just add that you can also order online. They have an online shop. You can order the food online and it will be delivered by their delivery. Guys, I have a video that I shared on my Instagram of when I ordered online and I was also like, what? The portion? This, that's what actually led me to go there in person because I was so pleased with the portion. So I'll leave all the details in the, in the description box and support local, support Africa as a lacquer. 
that's it for me and my friends our first african restaurant review we hope to see you soon and you can come and join if you're new if you want to come with us to go and review restaurants in uae please do come along let's let's lift the african flag high and enjoy the amazing taste of africa see you on the next episode bye I've been thinking about your own life. You're on the world and you know.